Hi, welcome to my channel. I want to share with you how I made this nice worship loose from scratch. Let's start with the project tempo of 72 BPM. For the pattern length, right click and select one bar. And the main swing, I'll increase it to 10%. This is how I plot my samples on the channel rack. Starting from the tambourine, this is the note that I plot. You can see that. One, two, one, two. Listen to what I did. And I did a little tweaks on the velocity. So just come to your graph editor. You see what I've done here. The next sample will be my maracas. So this is what I played. One, two, one, then the last note here. So listen. So if I move to the graph editor, you see what I've done to the velocity. The next thing I add is my snap. You see that the snap is so simple. One, one, just like that. And on the graph editor, I did nothing on this. The curve began to rise again at this point. So the next instrument I had was my P3 CSS class. This is all what I did. One, 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 one. Another two notes here. And then for this sample, I wanted to create some delay effect on it. So on the graph editor, you see what I've done here. Listen to how it sounds like. The velocity decreases as you get to this point and begin to rise again. That's all what I want from this. The next instrument to be my triangle. So that one is so simple. I just place one note at the end here. That's all what I did. And for the triangle up mute, this is what I did. You can see that. So that for that one, I open the piano row and plot the note in there. So let me open the piano row. You see what I've done? They are just triple notes. And the velocity changes. This is what I did. It rises up to this place. All right, it started very low. Then I increased the velocity. The next step is just select all the samples on the channel rack. All right, you can do that. We are going to assign it to the mixer channel. All right, so on the windows, you can just press Control L to do that. So let me show you whatever I did at the mixing stage. I have my samples in the red group. You can see that here. So I have my tambourine going through this channel. Let me slow that. Listen. This is what I did on the tambourine. I placed smack attack. Without it, this is how it will sound like. You can see that. So I brought it down a little to or make it sounds a little bit tighter. That's all what I did for the tambourine. And for the maracas, this is what I did. I placed a parametric EQ on it just to look at some of the frequency that I don't need. Something special. That's all what I did. And I pan it to the left. I pan it around 41% left. The reason why I kept the tambourine on pan because that's the core rhythm. All right. That's my core rhythm. So I maintain it at the center to keep the vibe going. For the snap, I place only EQ on it. You can see that. The reason why I look at some of the frequencies of the snap is because I'll be using snare when um, I'm playing the drums. So I decided to look at some of the frequencies so that I'll have space for my, my snare. You can see that. Good. And I pan it to 20% less. On the class, I only place a parametric EQ. On the class, just a gentle cut 
at 1.9k you can see that that's all what i did and i pan it to 20 percent um right that's for the gloves on a triangle i played nothing on it this triangle here i placed no effect on it it just a little bit of panning to 30% right. That's what, what I did for the triangle. And the triangle mute, I pan it to 30% left. So that's what I did. And on the triangle mute, I placed a parametric EQ on it to look at some of the frequencies. You see that? Mm -hmm. So that's what, what I did. So all together, this is what I have. The next thing you're going to do is just to create a bus for the percussions. So just select an empty channel, rename it as percussion bus. You can see that I've did my own on the channel 20 percussion bus. Afterwards, select all the including samples or the instruments. So I have 14 to 19. If you want to select all of them, control shift, then you select all of them one after the other right click on this arrow here you can see that right click on it you see route to this track only on the percussion bar this is what i place i use a compressor this is a far filter proceed to just to control the dynamics this is what i did you can see that i did nothing i'm just controlling the dynamics just like that I used Fruity Send. I will show you what I did with the Fruity Send later. The next thing I use SSL compressor. You see that here. So this just to glue all the instrument together. So an SSL compressor, I have a very fast attack and a slow release. The makeup gain is around three. So I'm just controlling the threshold to achieve what I want. So listen. So that is what I did for the SSL compressor, just to glue the instrument together. So in the SSL EQ, you see what I did? I just increased the high mid frequencies a little. Alright, and the low mid frequencies too, I increased a little. That's all what I did on the SSL EQ. The next thing I did is just create a power compression on the percussion bus. You know, for power compression, we send the duplicates of the signal coming through this bus to another channel. So I choose insect 21. So I'm just going to send the signal to this um, channel. So to do that, you load Fruity Send. You can see that I have Fruity Send here. You just load that on the percussion bus. Now we're going to sidechain the signal from this percussion bus to our empty channel. So I have my 20 here. Just right click on this going up arrow. So let's sidechain to this track. Now we have our signal going from this percussion bus to this um, channel. So I name it as this, I name it compression percussion. All right, compressed percussion. That's how I name mine. So when you do that, you just open your free to send, right click and select that channel you sidechain to. So I have my compressed percussion. So I have that channel here. Let me pan it a little. That's all what I would do for now. So this is what we've done. We just duplicate the signal to this channel as well. So let me mute our main percussion bars and see. can see that the signal is also coming through to the compression channel. So we're going to apply heavy compression on this channel. So I loaded Pro C2. That's what I did. Okay, this is a very hard compression. So that's all what I did on the on the compression percussion channel, okay? That's all what I did. So this is what we're going to do. We have our hard compression on this channel. So we're going to blend it with our percussion bar. So we just enable that and bring it up for it to blend together. So this is what we have now. You 
can see that now. So let's compare it with the previous without the compressed. Okay, this is what it sounds before and after. So the next thing I did was just create some kind of space for the individual element. So I have my reverb as a send on this channel and my delay as a send on this channel as well. So on the reverb, let me open it for you. I have my Valhalla Vintage reverb and on the delay, I have my Echo Boy. So let me open it and show what I did on the reverb. You can see that I choose a preset called Large Ambience. That's what I did. So I have my delay decay around 1.94 seconds and my pre-delay is zero. I look at some of the frequencies and high cast some of the frequencies as well. Now, for the size, it's up to 100. That's all what I did for the, for the vintage verb. Okay, so now let's listen. If I'm going to root this tambourine to the reverb, you can see that that's all what I did. I've done here. So let's turn to the percussion. So this for the tambourine. Without the reverb, this is how it sounds like. You can see that there's a lot of space now. And for the, I assigned it to the de delay as well. So I used Echo Boy. Let me open the echo boy and show what I did. So this is the setting I did. I had that pinpoint effect. I'm using one for notes, one for notes, all right? And I low cut as well, high cut as well. For the feedback, I brought it to zero. And for the delay as well, I'm using it as a send. So I send the tambourine to the reverb and the delay as well. The maracas to I send it as well. The snap, I send it to the reverb only. The clubs, I send it to the delay. The triangle to the reverb and the triangle mute the delay and the reverb as well. So now let's listen to the tambourine alone. You can see that the maracas. So if you want to continue and master these loops, just export it. Then on the mastering session, make sure it hits zero dB, all right? Just bring up to zero dB because it loops. Don't stretch yourself um, on it. So thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks for your time.